We out here free comic book day. Everybody say hey, what's good? What's good? It's gonna be Yeah. Hey you yeah. you gay. Yeah. Oh they got a car accident figure. Actually I think I need that. I think I need that. Beautiful. Tyler, check out this car action figure. Look, he's got the eyes, got the bandage, just whatever you prefer. Oh, it's Coral! Before, it's done before he uses Coral! That's like the I don't think children, parents are letting their children buy those. If they are, they're, there's a problem with that. Say hi. Is this what you're talking about? You messaged me. Yeah. I messaged you back, right? What? Did I message you back, right? Yeah. Okay. I didn't Joke over here. Hold on, let me see. Can I get your shirt? Can I get your shirt? Look at that epic. Look, you got Captain America one side, Iron Man the other side. It just depends how you're viewing it. Isn't that epic? Look, if you read it one way, it says Iron Man, the other way, it says Captain America. Right? Okay, get, get out of here. Nice, a Star Wars out here. Oh, that's a beautiful Black Panther poster. Though. Out here, Chick Fil A. Oh, that's that's fun. It's not amazing. Now we're here. Shop. Ended up. This is a new one. Open back in October. Okay, get out here, that. All that. I wish I could just end everything now and then. Dude, I feel that. I gotta shred this part of the clan because I really like it. Oh, I'd buy that. It's $56, dude. Actually, I'll show you what I want. Dude, what are, what are you selling? Oh, that would be, yeah, I've seen that. Around. This is what I want. I want the Doc and Marty. Because I would love to just have them. I like how they uh, sell their posters so you can just take them off the wall and sell them off the wall. Here, okay. Yeah, it was a good day. Good day. Got a lot of good shit. Got a lot of good. Hope you had a fantastic free comic book day. I'm gonna show you the. I didn't get too much, but I'm gonna show you what I got this year. Uh, where are we gonna? I was gonna start off with this. I am gonna be real. I don't even remember the artist. The artist's uh, name that did this little mini print. If I think, if I can find it online or something, I'll put it in the description below. Either way, you got Ray. Finn and BB-8 on low on raise. I don't know what you call that thing. Oh, hover thingy, Maggie. Yellow nerd to Kylo Ren. It's just a little goofy. I like it. It's nice. But uh, the rest looks like yeah, comics. Uh, free comic I got. I went to three comic book stores. Uh, in the uh, vlog that's gonna be before this, uh, it shows just two of the comic book stores I went to because I completely forgot to record when I was at my first one. Now, that's my favorite comic book store out of the three here at home. Uh, so uh, the first one we went to was Asylum Comics in Marietta, Ohio. I'll put info for that in the description. Uh, then we went to Lost Legion, uh, Games and Comics in Vienna. And then we went to Comic Sense. I thought that was the second time going to Comic Sense. It's a newer store, opened up back in October, and that's in Bulpery. Uh, but yeah, I'll put all the info for that below. But yeah, so I got a good haul today. I got The Tick. Used to love the cartoon. Never read any of the comics. Used to love the cartoon. Never watched the show. I'm pretty sure Patrick Warburton played The Tick in that. Got The Valley in 2016. It's just a bunch of previews and whatnot. On a road note, from what I've seen, I think it's Nerd Sync that talks a lot about Valiant. They actually have a lot of good looking comics. And one that I really want to start reading is Faith. It's, uh, uh, about this it's a girl and there's a picture of it in here i don't want to sound mean but she's like you know heavier girl if i can find the picture but anyways it just seems interesting and this looks like it's 
basically all of Valiant's universe for most of them because you can see Bloodshot, you can see Faith, you can see that A and A comic dudes. I don't know their names though. But all right, here's Faith. Yeah, I'll just show you this. Yeah, this page. But yeah, that's that. We got the Legend of Korra, but it also has How to Train Your Dragons and Plants vs Zombies. I'm just interested in the Legend of Korra. I bought. Actually, I bought. I'll save the ones that I bought for. Yeah, there's loads of them. Okay, I'll save those for the end. We got ROM, whatever that is, from IDW. Well, well, I'll see if it's interesting or not. Just in case I do forget to show Comic Sense, like put any of them down there. Comic Sense has their address and stuff on here. Or focus. There's their uh, address. But I'll try to remember to put info down there. Um, oh, and Asylum Comics has it on this one. But here's Civil War. Uh, I have the checklist to go through and you know read them all. And I think this is it's got the free comic book day slash issue zero here. So I believe that's like the first two of Civil War for Civil War two uh, in the comic book series. It's now it's again it's uh, Iron Man versus Captain Marvel. And in the first Civil War, I would side with uh, Captain America. Also, I'm going to be doing a Captain uh, Captain America Civil War review soon, so check that out when it's up. But I would side with Captain America. I think they shouldn't have limits on their powers. You know, they're just trying to save the world. Uh, they shouldn't have to tell you who they are under the mask. But in this one, what it seems like is going on is Iron Man's fighting for. It's like there's a movie. I don't know what it's from. What it's about? Like what movie it is? But Futurama makes fun of it. This being or whatever can sense, predict crimes before they happen, so you can arrest them before it happens. And Captain Marvel thinks you should arrest them before it happens. And Iron Man says you can't arrest them if they haven't done anything. I'm on Iron Man's side. Yeah, in a way I agree with Captain Marvel, but I'm on Team Iron Man this time. But anyways, sorry, this is, I got Civil War 2, and here's the address and stuff for uh, Asylum Comics. Um, and then here's Marvel's Greatest Collections. I don't know, this just talks about collections and whatnot. Different reads. But yeah, I'll, yeah, this is just different reads. Suicide Squad. Got that. What is? What did I get that? Oh, that's just more Asylum Comics info. I bought these from Comic Sense Micro Series of TMNT Fugitoid. That's issue 8 of the Micro Series. And the new Teen Titans and Tales of the Teen Titans. I got... Trouble was spelled, spelled, oh, Trouble is spelled Terminator. And then the trial of the Terminator continues. And then from Asylum Comics, I bought Scarlet Witch issue one, which I've been putting off for a long time, just to save money. We'll see if I like it, we'll see if I don't. And then back to future issue seven. Um, I believe that's it. Let me see if there's info on Lost Legion on any of these, just cause I know I'm gonna forget to put the info for the other comic book stores. Okay, well, hopefully I remember to put everything down there, and uh, until next time, stay geeky.